Hello, hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel. So today, I'm gonna show you our Halloween decorations, and then I'm also gonna take you on a walking tour around our neighborhood to see some of the decorations that we have up around the neighborhood. There are some people in our neighborhood that are awesome amazing at Halloween decorations. So that's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna start with my own house. All right, like I said, I was gonna start at my house. And what I did this year is I put a graveyard in the front yard. As you can see, we have some tombstones, different things here. I do have a beware go back sign, kinda as you're coming up the sidewalk here. And then we have our tombstones some of them have different things around them this one has a skeleton arm this one's gonna have a spider we have a full skeleton body here in front of this one I have the skull another skeleton hand and then on the big one in the back that says welcome we've been dying to see you it kind of reminded me of haunted mansion which is why i got it and i just put the chains around that one here in the back on the house, we have a spider web with a spider. He's hanging off, kind of falling down. And then some spider webs on the shrubs with pumpkins. And then Jack and Sally. Um, so I do have spiders on these webs here. Tiny little spiders. We usually have really large spiders, but I could not find them all. And I do have a Jack and Sally um, pumpkin here as well. So then when you come to the door, our front door, so you have a big spider there. So our front door has this creepy man <laughs> here hanging. He's a creepy hanger. Let's see if I can get him to turn. There we go. And then we have the beware tape and an M spider web um, wreath. So that's what our front door looks like. So when you pull into the driveway, hanging in front of our garage, we have a ghost and a creepy skeleton man. We have this witch, so she's a witch. If you get up close and see her, there we go, she's got a witch face. She just hangs like the creepy man. And then we have a big spider and a spider web and then a ghost over here. So that's kind of what we did. We're gonna have fog um, for the graveyard on Halloween night. So I'll have a fog machine right back there by Jack and Sally that will do fog all over the graveyard because we um, in our city are allowing trick-or-treating. So hopefully we'll get some trick-or-treaters in our little cul-de-sac. So this is my next door neighbor. They do have a few things out. They do have a Jack Skellington on that bench up there. And then the cute little ghost lights, a spider on their door and some ghosts lining their um, sidewalk. So this house does have blow ups, but they don't have them up because it's the middle of the day, but they do have like a graveyard scene and a gargoyle, which I think is amazing. Some scary stuff, graveyard here, and that's a zero and Jack blow up. And next up, this house has graveyards as well. They have a really scary doll on their porch. <laughs> She's really creepy. Um, they have a skeleton in the yard. Pretty cool. So I have to say this is one of my favorite setups in my neighborhood. Um, I love the use of what appears to be full-size skeletons and full-size, or not full-size, but over, over large spiders. Um, that spider, huge spider on that web is amazing. Spiders going all the way up skeleton loving the graveyard scene really awesome and then skeleton on the roof in two spots one of my favorites this one's really fun this spider I bet these move so they look like they move when they're on which I think would be in the dark but um, this spider's good there's a bat and a skeleton there's a blow up here but it's obviously down um, and then some really cute stuff on the little porch. All right, I finally found a real Disney Halloween decoration. They got some cute fall stuff up there, but they've got a Minnie Mouse blow up. Look at that. It's 
spider webs. I love spider webs. All right, we're coming up on one that's got a very fall and spooky theme going on. Severed limbs and spiders, but also a scarecrow with corn and some flowers. And in their tree over here, they have ghosties and witches. So that's really cute. And then across the street from them, of course they have a blow up, but nothing's up during the day. Some spider webs, a cool Frankenstein uh, scarecrow right there. Very nice. This one's not really decorated, but I love the cocoa reference flanking their door. Here's the end. This is the last one. We're ending here. Guys, this yard is crazy cool. Look at all this stuff. Look at it. Everywhere. Look at this. Awesome. Here's the clown. There's a spider back there. There's webbing. You got a grandma. Got some things sitting on the porch here. Oh wait, here it comes. Jack in the box. He is creepy. And then some witches right here. Then to the side yard. The side yard's where it's at. Look at that blow up cat. This big pumpkin guy. All these skeletons. Look at that spider in their yard. Clowns clown cl things climbing up the side of the house. This is crazy. This is like the best, look at this guy. This is the best decorated house in my neighborhood. Oh, look at him. Look at these things climbing the house. Side of the house here. Piles of baby heads. It goes on forever. Watch this. Look at this guy. Graveyard with a Grim Reaper. Webs and spiders. There's like a scary man back there. It keeps going. Oh, don't worry. It keeps going. <laughs> Here's a guy. There's a blow up, but you can't see it. Look at this creepy girl. So this is where we'll end our tour. And there's two more. There's this guy, he's moving. And then that guy on the end. There is another blow up, but you can't see it. Like I said, this is the end of our walking Halloween decor tour for my neighborhood. I wanted to end on this really awesome place. 